They got all straight into the top six. Um, well, he's, he's doing the best he can, uh, as, as you see. He, he was a bit slow at the start today now, the practice, but all of a sudden, as the time started to run out, he seemed to get quicker and quicker. And he, he's got himself squeezed in one of the things on the second row before, for the race today. So we'll not just write him off just yet. We'll, we'll just give him a go today and see. But if it's, if it's weather done tomorrow, it'll certainly play back into his camp again and also ours. So we'll just wait and see. Joyce this year, uh, from the very start of the season, he's been a different rider. He's in good form. He's enjoying the team. Everything's working with the bike for him. New crew, uh, crew chief there, Stuart Johnson. Stuart and him seems to click. So all in all, the whole as Joyce is just a different rider. He's been riding every practice size now, but not the races. He's totally wound down. He's not under any pressure. And you can see the results are starting to come coming forward. I'm not really thinking about the the standard uh, top six championship points. I'm just thinking about podium credits because that's what gets carried on to the the end of the the end of the season, and they're the points I need to be building up to um, basically to to have a better shot at the at the shootout the last three rounds. So, um, of course, every year I come to, to try and win the championship, but uh, you know this year is looking that little bit more realistic. They're off the line. Brooks gets an absolute flyer. Yeah, That's Sealy. Sealy. It's a Sealy. Trouble for Taiko Suzuki. Something's not right. And Seely, who was also running with a top six running position strong. in yep. line, and running strongly. And needed it. Yeah. I'll tell you what that is. The rear brake's binding on, I'm sure. Oh, Josh is going to try for it. He's late on the brakes, late, late, late on the brakes. And Josh Brooks snatches it on the line. It was a, it was a crazy race, you know, with uh, with Michael going down at chicane. I really didn't see any of that because because Shaky really because he nearly took you out. Yeah. You were on the grass. Yeah, yeah, I was on the grass, and it wasn't directly Michael. I, I got caught up with Shaky, but. I didn't make any evasive action early because I didn't even see Michael was crashing. Where Shaky said that the Michael lost the front, was sort of like sliding on his with his knee on the ground with the bike for quite a while, and he was watching it, thinking, "Oh,", oh, oh. but I didn't see any of that because Mike was because Shaky was literally right in front of me. So all I seen was the last minute Shaky stood up, and that left me nowhere to go. I had to I had to exit stage left. So uh, across the grass, and you know we had lots of rain this weekend, so I was, I was expecting it just to be a big mud pile. But uh, lucky enough, the grass quite solid there and made it over and back on the track and then I went to the next corner thinking oh the, the tyres are maybe a bit wet should I tip in or should I take it easy but luckily I uh, didn't lose too much time and was able to catch back to Shaky to, to eventually get that uh, pass at the end. It was looking good and then uh, came I think it was lap 8. Um, coming in the drews, just the rear locked up and I thought it actually went down too many gears but it was the rear uh, the rear pads that pushed into the disc and the disc was glowing red so I managed to get it back to the pits and the boys you know, not, they couldn't even hardly push the bike by the time I got it back so it was a DNF and something we didn't really need for this weekend uh, I think a lot of things have made the difference in Josh Brooks riding this year as opposed to last year and the year before that I think Number one, he's happy with the team, he works well with the task set up. Uh, the other thing, I think he's really familiar with all the tracks, he's been to them all a long time before, uh, a lot before this year. This is, you know, third, fourth, fifth time back at some of these places. And you know what, I think he just settled down. I think because he's happy with the team environment, it's because he's happy with the data he's got from last year, it's the same bike. And because he's happy with the team, it's making the difference to his riding. And the other thing is, he loves riding his bike and he wants to win. He's a rider that's prepared to go that extra kind of few inches and take the risks. And he's now got the kind of experience on these tracks to make it work and not crash a lot. I mean, I think I had Alistair Seeley down for one of the championship contenders this year. It hasn't happened. I still think it could happen. I think he's got the skill. I think he's got the pace. I don't know what's made the difference, he just seems to be trying a little bit to add. He's having bike issues as well, which is nobody's fault. Uh, 
and, it, and I just think it isn't happening for him. That can happen in racing, and it's happening for him at the minute, and hopefully he can turn it around. You know, it's, it's a big ask of any team in this paddock to expect your two riders to be inside the top six. Um, obviously that's a, a fairly significant percentage. Um, there are probably two teams at the moment who are looking like they've got a chance of having two riders fighting for that, for that top six position. We're lucky enough to be one of them. Um, yesterday didn't help our case with Alistair in that he lost, he lost some really good points for a, a sort of fourth or a fifth place with a mechanical failure, which is uh, unfortunate. Um, but we're still there. We're still there with a fighting chance and Alistair will be, is a strong contender. Josh has now improved his form around Oldham Park. It's never been historically his best circuit. Um, he is very, very comfortable in the wet weather. If we had anything like the weather for, the, for today that we had on Friday, which was raining quite heavily, we'd be very, very, very confident because he's extremely confident in those conditions right now. But he's, he's improved his form here now, as we've seen yesterday in the dry as well. He was uh, probably unlucky. There was an incident on track, uh, six or eight laps into the race, which spread the field a little bit and let Tommy get away in front. Otherwise, I think Josh would have been challenging Tommy for the win. the motocross experience as he rolls in the, onto the pegs coming out of Druids, got fantastic drive and surges underneath Norrie Harga. Um, quite a boring race for me, I mean the, the, the first turn was a bit of action going on and um, and then quickly, uh, it just settled into a, a, my second position. I was chasing Tommy, but you know he was he was too quick today. The bike, his team, everything was was working well for him. And full credit to him and them, they they, they did it well. And um, you now we've got to try and bridge that gap. Uh, I mean, I felt like I did a better race then. It was it was better lap times than I was able to achieve yesterday. And um, so I felt better in myself for what, what I was able to achieve, but still not good enough for that number one spot. There's been a real fundamental change to Josh Brooks, I think. He's happy, he's considered. He's not pushing now for the win all the time. He's happy to take the second, he's happy to take the third. He'll bag the points instead of pushing so hard and perhaps risking a crash. And we've seen that in previous years where he's pushed too hard and ended up on his backside. Now, 2012, as we're here at Alton Park for round six, we're halfway through. There's just something different about him and I would not be surprised if at the end of the year it's between Brooks and some other people for, for the title. I think he's going to go all the way and take this all the way to the wine. We probably expect a bit more from Al at this point. I think Al expects a bit more from Al at this point. He's the defending super sport champion. We know what he can do on the super stock bike. He's an awesome rider. His best result so far as we're halfway through the season was second in the first race at Brands Hatch on the Indy circuit. And he hasn't really fulfilled his promise as of yet. I don't want to knock him, I'm just saying that I know what a great rider, as we all do, we know what a great rider Alistair Seeley is and just how strong he is. And when we do see Alistair Seeley get really happy with the Superbike, he's going to be unstoppable. Hopefully have a good race later on today and uh, try and, uh, as I say, get in that top six. And It's all about points and consistency at the minute. And uh, You know, we, we weren't that far away coming here and now I think we're back up. We've dropped the 10th, we're back to 9th in the championship. So, all to play for. A um, few more races left before the before the, the cut-off point. So, I'll just keep chipping away and a good team behind me so they'll give me the best opportunity. But Tommy Hill loses the lead. Now, that is a bit of a surprise this weekend. First time Hill, all weekend. I think he's overtaken for the first time this weekend. Josh Brooks put the hammer, puts the hammer down on the Taiko Suzuki. Tommy's thinking, hey, that's not in the script, is it? <laughs> and that's, that's and what you're up against with somebody like Brooks.
wins it. Here goes Brooks up the inside of Norrie Hager, just as you supposed he might do. Norrie tries to ride him round the outside. They're absolutely together as they go through Dealeaf. Tommy Hill grabs victory, his hat trick this weekend. Second, Jakey Byrne. Third place, Josh Brooks. It's a difficult thing to say without sounding cocky, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't come here to be just chasing the top six. You know, I mean, I, I come here to win the title. So in that respect, I'm saying that I'm not even thinking about the top six. I'm not thinking about the points. I'm not thinking about the championship points that that build because, as I said, you you got to be in the top six to to be in a fight for the championship, and that's that's what I'm here to do is to win it. I hope the luck changes for us. You know, we've had a lot of bad luck this year. We've we seem to be having a, a good round and then a bad round and a good round. It's a bit inconsistent for me. Um, it's making life difficult to get into the top six. But, you know, I'm a fighter, as shown last year in the super sport class, and I'll never give up. And I'm looking forward to it. You know, a few wet races would probably suit me at the minute because we're, we're pretty fast in the wet. It's looking really good. Uh, obviously, Josh is right up at the sharp end. Um, we've had some race wins this year and a consistent run of podium finishes. Um, Alistair's had a little bit of an up and down season. Um, great success on the um, road racing scene back in Ireland. Uh, BSB's been a little bit up and down again, had some podiums, but uh, he needs to find some consistency.